In this video, we will learn about min-max scalar. It is a standardization process in which the feature values lie between 0 and 1. Let's import pandas as pd. I'm going to make one variable df and in that variable, I will save my CSV file. From pandas, I will use the method read underscore CSV. And inside this, I will pass my CSV file name. Let's look at the top five rows of our data frame df. We will use the method head. These are the top five rows of our data frame df and it contains columns such as MPG, cylinders, displacement, horsepower, weight, acceleration, model year, origin, and car name. Let's also look at the bottom five rows of our data frame. We will use the method tail. These are the bottom five rows of a data frame. Min-max scaling can be performed only on numeric data. So let's look at the data types. We will use the method D types. We will write df dot D types. In the output, you can see that we got the data types of each variable. So MPG is floor 64, cylinders integer 64, displacement floor 64, horsepower, object so we cannot perform min max scalar on horsepower because it is an object weight is integer 64 acceleration floor 64 for this tutorial we will let's take we will consider two variables we will consider displacement and weight i'll make one variable x and this variable will contain all the features or all the independent variables so we are considering only two variables displacement and weight from df i will use the method i l o c i want all the rows and i want only two columns which is displacement and weight so we need to put the index number of these of these columns let's find the index number 0 1 2 3 and 4 so the index number of displacement is 2 and the index number of weight is 4 we will type here two and four now we will make one more variable which is going to be a target variable y and in this we will consider one variable for target variable let's consider acceleration so the index number of acceleration is five zero one two three four and five so i'll type i want df dot i l o c I want all rows and I want the column number 5 only. Now we are going to import min max scalar and train test plate from sklearn. From sklearn dot preprocessing, we will import min max scalar and from sklearn dot model selection, we will import train test plate. Now we are going to split our data into train and test. We will make variables x train, x test, y train, and y test. And we will use the method train test split. Inside this, we will pass our data frame x and our target variable y. We will also pass a random state random state and here i am passing number 50 you can pass any number here but if you want your result to be same as mine then you have to pass 50 and i am not passing here test size because i am not going to make any machine learning model i am just explaining you how we can apply main max scalars that's why i am skipping that parameter test size let's execute our code so we have split our data into x-train, x-test, y-train and y-test. First, we are going to perform the min-max scalar on this variable x underscore train. Let's look at x underscore train, x-train dot head. So we have displacement and weight in our data frame x-train. 
first of all i will make an object of min max scalar so i'll make one variable scalar and then i will call min max scalar now i'm going to fit this on x train so what here i'm doing is i'm creating an object of class min max scalar and then i'm fitting our training data x train let's execute now i'll print scalar in the output you can see that it is an object of class min max scalar we have just fitted our min max scalar on x underscore train we have not applied the transformation let's look at some of the functions which are available in our object scalar we will say scalar dot data underscore min so the minimum is 68 in our variable displacement and the minimum value in our variable weight is 1613 we will also look at maximum scalar dot data dot maximum the maximum value in our variable displacement is 455 and the maximum value in our variable weight is 4997 and we can also verify this using the describe method x train dot describe and here you will see that the minimum for displacement is 68 so we got here this 68 the minimum for weight is 1613 we got 1613 the maximum for displacement is 455 here we got 455 the maximum for weight is 4997 4997 so we got the same numbers here we will also look at scalar dot feature underscore range so the range is 0 and 1 because when we are going to transform this variable displacement and weight all the values will lie between 0 and 1 no value will be less than 0 and greater than 1 so so far we have just fitted our x train now we are going to transform this so we will say scalar dot transform x underscore train before transformation we have to fit and we have done fitting here you can see here i have made an object of min max scalar and i have fit x train and saved in the object scalar so after the fitting now here i am transforming now let's print in the output you can see that these are the transform numbers of our variable displacement and weight and you can see that all the values are between 0 and 1 so here it is 0 0.11 then the maximum value will be 1 so here you can see 1 this is the maximum value there will be no value in negative or greater than 1 all the values will be between 0 and 1 so when you apply min max scalar your values will lie between 0 and 1 after the transformation and we can also save this result in a variable i'll copy this code from here i'll make one variable x underscore train underscore scale and i'll just paste that code here now i'm going to print this print x underscore train underscore scale so these are the transformed values of our variable displacement and weight which we can use for our machine learning model so we have done this transformation on training data now we will do the same transformation on test data i'll make one object scalar and then i will call min max scalar then i will fit this on x underscore test Now let's print our object scalar. So you can see that it is an object of class min max scalar. Let's also look at some properties. A minimum. So in our test data, the minimum value for displacement is 70 and for weight it is 1649. Let's also look at the maximum value. Scalar 
dot data dot maximum so the maximum value is 455 for displacement and 5140 for weight let's also look at the features scalar dot feature range so the value will be lying between 0 and 1 after the transformation and we can verify this minimum and maximum by applying the describe function on x test i will say x test dot describe in the output you can see that the minimum for displacement is 70 and here also you will see 70 the minimum for weight is 1649 and here also 1649 the maximum for displacement is 455 we will verify so it is 455 for displacement and the maximum value for weight is 5140 5140 now we can apply the transformation we have just fitted here you can see that we have fitted here and now we are going to apply the transformation so scalar dot transform and we have to pass our x test in the output you can see that these are the transform value of our x test and this one is for displacement and this one is for weight you will see that all the values will lie between 0 and 1 no value will be in negative and no value will be greater than 1 the maximum value will be 1 and the minimum will be 0 you can see here that the minimum value is 0 here and you will see here the maximum value is 1 here also the maximum value is 1 we can also save this result in a variable i'll make one variable x underscore test underscore scale and then i will copy this code from here and i will just paste it here let's run our code now I'm going to print this print x underscore test underscore scale. In the output, you can see that we have saved the result in a variable x test scale. This is how you can apply min max scalar on your numeric variable and use it for developing machine learning model. This video was about how to transform your variables using min max scalar. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.